you've already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Sagittarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, Four of Cups, and it's with the higher event. Now, with this Four of Cups, it can be about wishful thinking. It warns us, warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and account your many blessings that we each currently experience. And not to worry too much about what could be, because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So you want to be sure that you're counting your blessings and don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. And I say this because a lot of life, it actually has to do with where we put our focus. So try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. The Four of Cups is with the higher, higher event. Now with this card, you could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend. When you're called on for advice or help with some important matters, your intelligence and empathy put you in position to provide a whole lot of support. So this could be you or someone coming towards you or someone that you know this person will be quick-witted, well-educated, a wise teacher marked by integrity. Quite frankly, this person is the real deal. A genuine article, a true blue. They're highly admired individuals. They walk the walk, talk the talk. And they stand firm. They stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. So basically, the message I'm getting, the recent past energy for you and your person, Four of Cups, clarified by the Hierophant. So... You could be had, you could have had some regrets that your person was not true to you, or you or you could be feeling the four of cups can be about feeling devalued and unloved. So you could be feeling you could have been feeling this way. With this recent past energy devalued and then loved by a person. Because they were not as genuine and true. They didn't keep it real with you. Yeah, because the Hierophant keeps it real. No games being played with the Hierophant. Or, I'm getting another download here. Your person could have some regrets. And they could be stuck in um, wishing things were different, wishing they were more loyal, true, honest, and sincere with you. So those are a couple of couple of uh, messages that I'm getting. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We've got the Emperor and the Knight of Swords. Now the Emperor shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcomed, and that's what you need to think about when this emperor appears, because when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain concentration and focus. Yeah, the emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is the time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness and the confidence that the self-control and focus brings. Forge your head and do what you know is best, because if you can master yourself, then you'll have little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. Now, it's with the Knight of Swords, which actually, actually brings a fairly upbeat, cheerful type of energy. The Knights can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It can point to your physical and emotional spiritual, your your physical and emotional and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords can point to a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, 
getting things accomplished. You're not likely to want to wait for anything to come to you, and that's a good thing. The Knight of Swords goes after their heart's desire. So, such here is the message that I'm getting for what's coming up with this um, Emperor showing up and the Knight of Swords being the clarifier is that yeah, you um, could be going really cold on your person because the Emperor shows no emotions. They never want to come across as being vulnerable and they don't open their heart so I'm getting that you'll be going really cold. You're going to shut down on this person and it looks like the, here they come, they're rushing in to be with you. The Knight of Swords makes plans. They take action. Um, this person wants to rush in and make things right. That's them. They'll cut out anything just to get, get to you, to be with you. The Knight of Swords, they come in and they want to sweep you off your feet. So, this person, they do want to fix it. But like I said, it looks like you're going to go cold on them. You probably show no emotion. So, let's see what's coming up for the challenge. We've got the world card. And it's with the three of pentacles. Now, the world card is about completion. You worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way. So don't quit now because you're so close. You could feel like you need some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. Because you're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now when it comes to work, it's a good chance that you're working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's important if this is the case to blow your own horn a little. Just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. Now it's with the Three of Pentacles, which is a very positive card in the tarot, especially when it comes to work and career questions. It's a really, really good overall card in the deck. It means that you're doing well. It tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts, and they notice the quality of work you do, even if you don't get paid for it. It tells you that you should keep doing what you're doing because you're on track. There could be some need for improvement, but you will not have to scrap something and then start again. So your challenge, the world clarified by this Three of Pentacles. So yeah, like I said, your person, they come rushing in, trying to make things right. Um, they have regrets that they weren't as true and true and as loyal as they could have been to you. But it looks like you're going cold on them. And you probably already have decided to close out the chapter with this person. Because the world card is about closure. It's about completion. It's about ending a journey. Yeah, you're wanting this cycle to be over with. But like I said, they come rushing in. And with the Three of Pentacles, they might try to say or do things to impress you. Because the Three of Pentacles is a card below the word challenge. You see how these two people are at this man's feet and they're looking up to him. And they're impressed by what he's showing them. So your person, they're going to come in. Trying to sweep you off your feet. Trying to impress you. Maybe saying things that... They think you want to hear. So, it looks like you've already decided to close the chapter with this person. Now, let's, be, let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We've got the Two of Wands. And it's with the Five of Cups. Now, the Two of Wands. With this card, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can. Even to the boring, mundane things like eating right. Getting enough rest. Two of Wands, it can indicate a partnership with another person. So this could be business or personal or both. It reminds us to stay mindful, 
to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So if things are feeling out of balance for you now, just know that they're about to get substantially better. It's about keeping your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. Now it's with the Five of Cups, which is a card that reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So, what are you going to choose to focus on? The implication is probably clear. Are you going to cry over spilled milk or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? What I'm trying to say is that when you get the Five of Cups, you have to watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. So your outcome, Two of Wands, clarified by this Five of Cups. So yeah, you're going cold on this person. It looks like you're deciding to close a chapter with them. They're rushing in to make things right. This person wants to be, be with you. They're trying to impress you with words or with something. But it looks like you have options. The Two of Wands, it could mean that you have two paths towards the future. You're trying to make a decision when you get the Two of Wands. You see, Two of Wands is a card above the word outcome. This man has his hand tied to one wand and his, his back is to it. So that could be you, how you're feeling about your person. And then the other wand, he has a body towards that wand. He's looking directly into the eyes of that wand. And his ankle is tied to it. So this one sparks his interest a whole lot more. So you could be thinking of someone that you might want to go towards, that you feel would be better for you, because you're deciding to close the chapter with this person. Yeah, they were not loyal and true. And there's a lot of regrets. And probably feeling devalued and unloved by this person. So... Five of Cups is about, like I say, you're going to try to figure out how to stay positive. Because you could, you could sulk and have a pity party, but you're trying to focus on being positive instead of negative. Because you know that it's time to close a chapter and, you have, and, and um, what do they say um, in the theater? The show goes on. Yeah, um, time stops for no one, so you're just trying to stay positive, and there's someone that's, someone or something, it could be a person or a situation, that could be coming along and sparking your interest if you don't know someone already, because that's what the Two of Wands is saying. So Sagittarius, after reading, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope this resonates, as you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Sagittarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you, thank you so very much for watching. I just want to say, uh, keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. And yes, the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. So keep that in mind. Yeah, because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So you have to take the reading for however it resonates. So such a I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'm wishing all of you happy holidays. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.